Hi everybody, welcome to This Week in Falmouth. I am Michael. And I'm Laura. How's everyone doing? Good news is, it might be raining now, but it is going to stop. Oh, so don't worry about it. Yes, exactly. It's going oh. in the summertime. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, little we'll showers. Pass and Pass. So we'll big news. Showers. All right. Everyone loves the Falmouth Village Association Street Fair. That is tomorrow. Tomorrow. No rain Wednesday. tomorrow. Wednesday. No rain tomorrow. No rain tomorrow. Nine to five. Nice. Every year it keeps improving. The Falmouth Village Association does an amazing job. They, they have parking at Morris Palm School. On Jones Road, right. Lawrence School on Lakeview Avenue shuttle services. So just be patient and go to some lots that you can just take a little bit of a walk or a shuttle ride, and it'll be perfect. I'm um, really excited. I think too, right from Lawrence, if you don't want to take a shuttle, you can walk right over. Absolutely, walk down through Catherine the field, Lee's Bay. down Catherine Lee Bates. Yeah, it'll be perfect. Yeah, it's perfect for everybody. So it's going to be a great, great day. Uh, you can also check their Facebook page, FalmouthVillageAssociation.com or like their Facebook page for any information or questions that you may have. And when are they clearing the streets? No parking, obviously, along Main Street. I've seen the signs up from Falmouth Police Department. Yep, I think exactly. they're going to start clearing the street around 5 a.m.? Yeah, 5 a.m. until like at least 7 p.m. So, so yeah. there's great signage that the Village Association with Falmouth Police Department has put out. So rest assured, it'll be a great day. It's going to be fun. A lot of fun. Um, let's great. see. There's all sorts of things. Um, Cape Arthur Central Railroad does their dinner train. That's right. Is that coming out of North Falmouth? It's going to come out of North Falmouth on so the 14th. Fun. So go to um, capetrain.com and make your reservation because they only do about two um, that come out of Falmouth and North Falmouth. It's and amazing. It if you so haven't done fun. it, we did it last year. It was so much fun. You go yep. along, beautiful meal, looking out the window. It's great. Yeah, and they have some new new things this year with like an extended uh, dining card. Oh, so nice. that'll be nice. Great. Wonderful. Um, Wednesday night is family night at Highfield Hall with the Toe Jam Puppet Band. So that'll be fun for all ages, wow. especially the little ones. Mm. Uh, College Light Opera Company is My Fair Lady. Wow, amazing. Yeah. It was, uh, it was uh, amazing. We were there last week and the show was just out of control. Yep. It was just amazing. Full full house. If you haven't gotten your tickets, go online. Try to get them because they sell out very quickly. That's going to be through the 12th to the 15th and I think that they're at 8 p.m. and on Thursday. That's a real problem. My fair lady, that's going to be really yeah, popular. Yeah, 2 p.m. on Thursday for a matinee. Nice. Cape Cod Theatre Project is in full swing. Uh, continuity is what they're reading right now. That's the 13th to the 15th. Great. So you can check that out. Uh, annual West Falmouth Art Show and Sales starts July 14th and it runs through the 29th. Nice. And the opening reception is on July 14th from 5 to 7. A lot going on. have to turn the page here. Wow. Uh, Town Band Concert uh, is Thursday yeah. night and the Farmer's Market is Thursday afternoon. Concert in the Parks have started at Peg Newton Park. Uh, that's a family-friendly family -friendly event and that's a lot of fun. The Art Market is now back. It's at Marine Park and that's from noon to 5. Thursdays, right? Yes, Thursdays. Okay, that's great. So you can go get some art. Yep. Get some vegetables, fruits. Yeah. Roosters, hot sauce. Well, could be Friday. Check out. Out. Could be Friday. Check our check our our website. Foundchamber.com. That's right. You it's got it. Thursday, yeah, okay. I think you're right. I think you're right. Great. Uh, family fun Fridays at Heritage Museums and Gardens that runs from ten to five, and that's a lot of fun. Really, a lot of great activities for the kids, and it's such a beautiful setting. So if you've not been there, definitely check it out. Um, this is awesome. They've been doing this for a year. The huge bazaar and furniture sale at the Wakoit Congregational Church oh, takes gosh. place on um, the 14th and 15th, so that's Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, I don't know if it's still taking donations. You might want to give them a call to see. Yep. Furniture donations, if you get a nice piece of furniture you'd like to donate to the church to sell. There's all sorts of things. Nice There's thing a great, great event. Uh -huh. And they also sell holy dogs. Do they? Holy dogs. Yeah, holy dogs. I, like I think that. that's what they call them. Um, Lobsters also, on the lawn up here. Yeah, that's Monday's holy, holy dogs. dogs down Absolutely. There. Um, wow. The Highfield Hall is partnered with the Woods Hole Jazz Summer Series, mm -hmm. and this Sunday from 4 to 6 is Svetlana and the Delancey Five. So they have a bunch of um, summer jazz series going on at Highfield. Oh, so no. that would be really, really fun. That's on Sundays. Hydrangea Fest is ongoing until the 16th, so check that out. Soar's Flower Garden Nursery is um, celebrating that, and that will be um, our next business after yep, hours. And that's Soar's ten to noon um, this weekend. So there's lots of stuff going on. So well, let me just go back to our business after hours. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's going right. to be a Soar's Flower Garden yes. Nursery, mm -hmm. and that's coming up. That's on the twentieth. Yeah, that's twentieth. But something mm -hmm. to keep in mind if you haven't come to one of our business after hours in a while. Great place. It's going to be outdoors. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great event. Right. 
If you need anything, BabbleChamber.com. Like us on Facebook. Yeah, but one question before we go. Oh. Um, going back to Heritage Museums and Gardens. Okay. Have you done the zip line yet there, Maura? I did. The, the adventure park? Yeah, yeah. super, super what'd you, fun. What'd you think? I think it's challenging. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot different than I thought it was. But it's a great, great um, activity for most ages. Yeah, great family You park. did it. I did it. Done a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, I can't keep up with my kids, but it's fun. I didn't kill myself. That's, that's a point. Positive. All right. Yes, absolutely. Have a great week. Thanks, everybody.